Welcome back. My name is Eileen and I'm going to be your teacher today, your virtual teacher. Our topic is traveling to future. Today you are going to watch some video about the future. You're going to analyze the development of the technologies in the future. You're going to talk about schools in the future and in the end write a composition. For the lesson today you need a pen or a pencil, a notebook, internet access and uh, you can stop the recording anytime you like. So let's start. Let's jump now into our DeLorean and take a ride to 2200. That's almost 200 years from now. What do you think our life will be like in 2200? Where will we be living? What will we look like? What will our daily routine be like? And what will have changed by that year? Think a little bit about that. Are interested to know what will be in 2200? Well, you have to copy this link here, the blue one, and there will be an interesting video. The title is What if you lived 50 years in the future? Watch it, and after that, there is going to be a comprehension check. So now you can stop the recording and watch the video. Let's now check your comprehension of the video. Um, this, there are going to be a few sentences and you have to say if they are true or false. So let's start. In the not so distant future, smartphones will be implanted in us through contact lenses. True or false? This one is true. The average life expectancy will be more than 100 years. True or false? This one is false. The average life expectancy will be between 80 and 90 years. There will be more senior citizens than babies. True or false? This one is false because they say that there will be an equal number of senior citizens and toddlers, babies. It will be easier to find jobs. True or false? False again. It will be more difficult to find jobs because artificial intelligence uh, by that time will have taken over most of our jobs. Artificial intelligence will be replacing people in over 8,000 different jobs. True or false? False again, not 8,000, but 8 million different jobs. 90% of the world population will be living in the cities. True or false? False again because it will be 70% of the world population, still lots of them, but 70% living in the cities. The whole Amazon rainforest will have disappeared. True or false? False again. It will be half of the Amazon rainforest that will have disappeared by that time. The Dead Sea will continue to evaporate. True or false? Well, this one is true. They say that in the end it will really be dead, no sea left in it. Humans will have begun colonizing Mars. True or false? True. 
people will have no more diseases. True or false? This one is false. They will be able to scan themselves, but still there will be diseases, unfortunately. Cybernetic eyes will enable people to see through objects. True or false? False. People will not be able to see through objects, but they will be able to see radiation, for example. AI, artificial intelligence, will be smarter than people. True or false? This one is true. And we have come to the end of this comprehension test. Let's look at the following sentences. Artificial intelligence will be replacing people in over 8 million different jobs. 70% of the world population will be living in the cities. People will be traveling to Mars. The underlying part of these sentences is the tense called future continuous. It is used for an action that will be in progress at certain time in future. It is often used with time expressions such as this time or in 50, 100, 1000 years time. Half of the Amazon rainforest will have disappeared. Humans will have begun colonizing Mars by 2070. Lots of things will have changed by 2200. Those three sentences and their underlying parts show the tense future perfect. As you can see here, this, these actions will be finished by certain time in future. They often come with such a time expression, such a time expression like here you have by 2070, by 2200. And in the text, it was also, the text was uh, uh, by 2070. So that action will be completed by that time. Lots of things will have changed by 2200. That means that a change will be over by that time. It still hasn't happened, so it's a future tense, but it will be finished by that time. So it's a combination, future perfect tense. Here you can see how it is formed. Future continuous is formed with the auxiliary verb will, be, and present participle, that is verb, plus ing ending. And future perfect is formed with will, have, plus past participle. It is always will and always have. The examples are, like in the sentences before, in 2200 people will be traveling to Mars, future continues, and by 2200, Artificial intelligence will have taken all, over all our jobs. Will plus have plus past participle. So let's summarize. Future continuous is used for an action that will be in progress at a specific time in future. In 2200 people will be traveling that will be in progress. And future perfect is used for an action that will be completed before a specific time in the future. Let's now practice future continuous and future perfect. What you have to do is copy the link here that you can see in blue and in learning apps uh, exercise these two, these two tenses. It is a very short exercise. And I'll stop the recording. We have seen what the world may look like in 2200, but 
what will our schools look like? Will they be better, more humane, or not so good? Here is a video. The title is What Schools of the Future Could Be Like? Copy this link and watch it. Pay attention. Uh, after that, we are going to analyze it. Now you can stop the recording. In the video that we have just watched, there were some technological advances that they predict might take place in some 50 years time in our schools. The first one was digitally personalized desks. That means that children, students will have desks uh, where they will have real time data. They will be able to communicate live with their peers from all around the world. Smart drugs. We have seen that uh, students will be given vitamins and they will enhance their memory. Robot teachers. It is not something that will happen in a very distant future. Um, that's already happening right now in Japan and South Korea where they have a lack of teachers. So realistic looking robotic instructors uh, already replacing teachers in some parts of the world. Classroom layout will also have changed. Students will not be sitting in their classrooms, but they'll be going around the school building. It will be more informal. Cognitive hard drives means that uh, hard drives will be attached to the brain of the students and information will be downloaded directly into their memory. That is fun. Blended learning is also something that we are experiencing right now. It means that children, students will still continue to go to school, but at the same time, they will have online instructions. As I said, that's what's happening already. Haptic technology. Uh, it is the technology that digitally recreates the sense of touch. It is hands-on practical learning. It replicates the feeling of real work. So, which technological advances do you find most attractive of those that we have just numbered? Think for a while what future schools should look like. Which advances would you accept from those that we have just mentioned? Which should be avoided? Think of the benefits and shortcomings of these new technologies and record your thoughts and send them to your teacher. You can use different tools to do that and um, your recordings should not be too long, up to one minute long. You can stop the recording now, this recording now and do this task. This is Elena. And Elena is going to tell us what future has in store for us. Let's give her a listen. In the foreseeable and not so distant future, there are many technological advances waiting for us to be discovered. Designer babies may become the wave of the future. Immortality may become a normal thing. Robots may replace our teachers in schools. Or we may perish in wars. Our planet may become inhospitable. Whether our days are numbered, or the future looks bright, we have to do our best. We have to keep taking care of our planet, like there is no tomorrow. We have no time to lose. We have to act now, or we would be sorry until the end of time. In Lena's speech, there were some idioms related to future. Let's see what they mean. In the foreseeable future means in the near future. Pretty much similar to that is the idiom in the not so distant future, meaning fairly soon. The wave of the future is something that will become increasingly popular in the future, increasingly fashionable. Our days are numbered means you don't have long left to live. 
the future look bright is something completely different. It means to have a promising future. Like there is no tomorrow means to do something energetically as if it were your last chance. No time to lose means very short on time. And until the end of time means forever. Copy these in the idioms in your notebook and learn them. that you enjoyed watching this video and that you have got some idea of what life might look like in 2200. What you should do now is write a short composition, some 120 words, about the life in 2200 the way you see it. Mention what people will look like, where they will be living, what will have changed in their daily routines and life in general. Use some future idioms and the tenses that we have learned today. Have fun. And we have almost come to the end. Uh, if you have completed all the tasks you were supposed to today, if you have talked about the benefits and shortcomings of schools in the future, if you have practiced future continuous and future perfect, and written your homework, then you should tick the smiling smiley like this. If you haven't done some of these parts, then you should do them again. I hope that you enjoyed thinking about what future might look like in some 200 years time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.